Hello everyone, are you ready for another spooky adventure? It's the 13 Nights of Halloween and I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. And now what has become a yearly tradition, it is time for us to watch some old Halloween commercials to get into I love the... these, man. This is, this is my vibe. This is my aesthetic. We finally found the thing where we love talking about Halloween. It's one, it's one of our favorite things to do. And we also love talking about old stuff. And now we can truly experience it by watching old Halloween commercials. This is a compilation from the same dude who made the one we watched last year. I don't remember his name, unfortunately, but I do remember his channel because I remember to link it so you can see it. What is it? Halloween Central. Halloween Central. It's probably what that's what my brother says. I actually don't know. Don't 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 quote me on that. <laughs> but I assume it's that. <laughs> that sounds valid. That sounds pretty. It sounds pretty about close, valid, right? Yep. So make sure to go actually support them if you're gonna watch us watch these for an entire hour twenty three minutes. Also, I don't know if these are gonna be flagged in any kind of way. <laughs> so that'll be a fun thing for me to discover. Uh, the the one at the beginning that we tested on that was playing like the Halloween movie theme. That one might get hit. Yeah, that one might get hit. Also, some of the audio might get a little bit weird because Zen is shared on the same audio track as this one right here. So a lot of fun stuff going on here. So let's start going right now because this is going to be as you can see from the video length this is a long one so let's go and now start with the feature presentation movies don't get featured presentation anymore zen they don't they really don't no oh uh, we don't do this either the idea of oh yeah that's what this is why i was like i'm not sure if this is gonna make it or not but thankfully this is just grainy enough that maybe they'll like uh -huh. that it might not uh <laughs> get picked up <laughs> yeah Seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and you too can uh, rent Scooby Doo <laughs> along with the first Halloween. <laughs> God, seven dollars to rent a movie. If you want to know how crazy that is in today's term, you could rent Halloween for like two dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. Oh uh, man, I tried to ask my mom most recently to look for some of these Halloween cereals, and she could not they have find them. They definitely have them. Oh, it's so annoying that she couldn't. We're, we're going to go looking for them uh, on Saturday. I'm not going to be looking. I absolutely love Count Chocula. It's so good. I'm a fan of Boo Berry myself, which is not being represented. Boo Berry is also here. good. Yeah. I, it's a shame it's only here for a single night. Man, I also miss this. This is also why I like doing 13 Nights of Halloween, because I, I miss the theme nights. The idea of just like, here you go, you, I, forget your regular programming is the same, except for now it's a spooky theme to it. Yeah, now it's the scary version. Exactly. Like, I remember watching stuff like this and I'd be like, yeah, even though I've seen these cartoons multiple times. <laughs> Similar to the idea that likely we've seen some of these ads. I don't actually remember ever seeing this commercial back in the day. I do remember watching these, though. Man, I love it. Aw, oh, this movie's so good. If I wasn't afraid of my channel being flagged, I, my, one of my video ideas when my brother was watching Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. <laughs> uh, I love that one. Have you ever seen the, um, the Blair Witch Scooby-Doo that they did back in the day? No. Maybe that's something to look for later. Just to check it out. Just because it's a weird thing of the time. Oh, this is before we were born. I remember these Weeble Wobbles from last year. Imagine how easy it was to entertain kids back in the day. All you needed is a Weeble Wobble. All you needed was some Weeble Wobbles. Not some, anymore. Some fucking eggs. No, not anymore. Now you need the Weeble Wobbles gotcha game. Yeah. And it's a, it's a, it's inside Roblox. And the Weeble Wobbles now look like weird block creatures. Another box over there. I can tell this is from the 90s. Dunkin' Donuts for Halloween. Because the yeah, attitude he had at yelling at his scary. sister Phil feels 90s to me. Yeah, that was that was very Sonic the Hedgehog era attitude right there. Exactly. Like, hey, you still don't know the Sega Saturn? <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Imagine making donuts so good that um, Frankenstein, the mummy, and, <laughs> and Dracula like the dead to get them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, that guy's not even a horror icon. He's from Fantasy Island. I don't know why they. <laughs> he's not really fit in the theme. Not to dunk on Dunkin' Donuts this many years later, but.
Oh, I get it, because they're minis. See, Zen, yeah, back then, we could... <laughs> mini, Dunkin' Minis. Uh, we don't have these at anymore, McDonald's. No, now you, you get nothing. McDonald's doesn't give you anything other than saying, pay $20 for a <laughs> double cheeseburger. Yeah, McDonald's prices are insane right now. They are. I don't know who the hell they think they are. That their prices yeah, they're are... ain't good enough to charge as much as like a restaurant. No, they're insane. Twenty dollars Halloween gift certificate, one dollar. Which back then could have bought you like a, a full-on burger. Crunchy nut cornflakes. Kellogg's crunch. I don't know. I feel like that hits my self-esteem if I learn that he chose the cornflakes over me. Yeah, if, if the vampire chose the cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> that that really makes it that that really hurts. I already have some self-esteem issues, but now I learned that a bowl of corn flakes. The trouble is, they taste too good. Was better than me. I think this is just straight up foot. No, I was gonna say this is this just footage from Bride of Frankenstein, but it's not. Because in original Bride, the bride is uh, Frankenstein is alive when the before the bride is alive. Do you know how how many how much screen time is in? I don't know if you've watched Bride of Frankenstein or if it's been a while since you've seen it. Do you know how much screen time she actually has in that movie? I can't imagine it's very much. You're correct. She has maybe a minute. That's and then wild. yeah, and then she rejects Frankenstein after he's like, "Oh, please, you were made for me." And then she goes, "No, you're." No. She like screams at him, hissing at him because he's ugly, and he cries and he kills everyone. <laughs> he kills himself, Damn. and then he real, tells real. He, he tells the scientist <laughs> me. Leave. <laughs> yeah, after he fumbles the woman made for him that was literally called his bride, he said, no, leave us, and he kills himself. <laughs> it's a very beautiful ending, but also it is very funny when you put it out in context what happens. <laughs> exactly what I would do in that <laughs> No, I feel it. That's why I love Frankenstein. He's so real. I love this goose on that episode as well. Cause it was the idea was like just trick or treat forever, get candy forever, never leave. And then the end of this episode, by the way, Zen, because uh, I know you don't know goosebumps like I do. At the end, it reveals that the the dudes that were haunting them were aliens and that they were behind the missing children because they eat kids. <laughs> And then as they leave, they go like, well, well, you wouldn't eat us, right? And they go like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you enjoy that candy. See you guys next year. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Don't think you're safe. <laughs> Delicious food. Big Lots. What is Big Lots even? I don't know. A scary clown. What? There's something under the bed. I hold something. There's nothing under the bed. I hold something. Seems like a waste of us. Oh my god, the Polaroid camera. Yeah. He had scared by a dumb cat. I wasn't scared. I can't imagine actually having a Polaroid camera, but I assume it'd be awesome to have one of those. Because you just take pictures of stuff and there's a giant flash and the people get blinded. Yeah, they get blinded and then they immediately get the picture that looks awful because they reacted to the flash because it blinded them. Yep. Oh, Vincent Price. Rest in peace. Not a pretty sight. Oh, this new Polaroid video oh man, I can really use these Polaroid pictures. Look at all the the colors. It cleans your heads as it plays. So dirty heads needn't haunt you. New Polaroid video cassettes. Get the picture. Does not replace normal cassettes, is what it says at the bottom. <laughs> oh, this will get me flat because this is Swan Lake. I'm just gonna quickly talk over all of it because I know for a fact <laughs> Swan Lake will get me hit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it is a beautiful theme of Dracula for sure, but it 100% will get me hit somewhere. Don Don even yeah, drink that Coca Cola, Dracula. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> this is also how I feel after drinking a delicious Coca Cola. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, when you when you get a, a Coca Cola right when you need to. Yes, when you need it the most, it hits the hardest. Man, I could use a donut right now. But I a lot also of donut commercials. They are. I wouldn't really think of a donut as a Halloween type food. As like a particularly Halloweeny Halloween thing. Yeah. 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 Not, not really. Not personally. Another wow. Dunkin'. Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts was doing it big back then. Yeah. Dunkin' went hard. 
I ain't doing this no more. I can't go into a Dunkin' and give me give me the Frankenburger with him on the in the Frankenburger, the Franken Donut with him on the donut. <laughs> That kid's Wolfman costume is shit, by the way. There's no hair on that. That They just painted that kid brown. I'm considering that brown face, and I'm offended. <laughs> Don't, my people are not your Halloween costume. <laughs> I come from a long line of oh my Wolfman. God. That witch looked like she died, but I guess she's fine. Oh yeah, no, witches are fine. Spoilers, this is also the same effects that they're going to use for Wicked. <laughs> Get ready. They spent $30 million on this shot. Why did the broom have jet like jet engines this? on it? Just show you how advanced the new ones are. Why are they beefing? I can't imagine going to the same store as someone that I currently am beefing with. I would simply not go to that Kmart anymore. I would just not go there, yeah. Exactly. My brother said to me in a statement that he believes that now uh, the mummy is one of the top three universal monsters. He said... He says he is. I think he said he, go, he goes over the Wolfman. It's what, no, what is this ranking based? Is this just a personal ranking? Or? I think his personal rank of, of the big the big three when you think of the universal monsters, he says Frankenstein, Dracula, and then the mummy. Of the universal monsters. I hate that. I think it makes sense for a modern era. If you go back in the day for sure it was Wolfman, Frankenstein, and Dracula. But they have not done Wolfman's right by the reputation is is really in the shits after Twilight though. Okay, you're, you're probably you can't, you can't oh, save him. You're right. I was trying to think of what happened to the Wolfman, and it's when they introduced the idea of a a tribe of wolf dudes, and they were not Wolfmen. <laughs> they were actually just wolves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were just weird. Yeah. Oh, man. Now you made me sad. It all makes sense. He's right. <laughs> it is. Also, the the funny idea of like um, oh, delicious cereal again always reminded me. And in uh, fourteen, oh, there's Boo Berry. There's my goat. No, he wasn't in the previous one. Not his cereal, anyway. It was uh, yeah, see, there he is. But probably a lot of people know the Mummy now thanks to the Brendan Fraser movies. Yeah, I think the Brendan Fraser movies are, are big for that. I, it's actually crazy that I think of the of those Universal monsters. It's the Mummy who's had the most recent success, and that was a long time ago because that was in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that anyone knows those movies anymore. Yeah, no, just Del Toro. Oh yeah, Elvira. Young Elvira too, even though she does look a lot like this thanks to the makeup. It is crazy how Blockbuster was like a huge thing and now no one has any idea what it is. Talk about just absolute extinction. Oh yeah. Blockbuster. It's really hard to say because so many people now talk about Blockbuster as like, oh man, this weird thing that used to happen. But it really was everywhere when I was growing up as a kid. Like that's how I played yeah, a lot of my games. It was absolutely huge. And then it just went away. So all those people saying like, whatever, you're going to come back to Twitter in two weeks. I'm just saying, eventually the damn will break. <laughs> yeah, and it'll just be gone. It'll be gone forever. And then we'll be like, damn. Remember, Can't believe it happened. Just like we were with Blockbuster. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you think this guy has added fat on him? Or is he actually naturally this fat? <laughs> See, look, he says Wolfman oh, over at the cool. mummy. Launching. Send one to my mother. <laughs> You'd mail these? These are special editions. You're really starting to freak me out. Special edition stands. Imagine spending money on a special edition. Anyway, I heard that there's some new uh, collector's rares coming. Oh, spooky. Oh, it's spooky. the Game Boy. Game Boy. It's, yeah, it's Game Boy Castlevania, baby. <laughs> back when Konami made video games. Yeah, back when Konami did anything other than make, like, pachinko machines. Yes. Though, uh, Silent Hill 2 is apparently very good, so that makes me hope that at least they'll give their properties to other people to make them play, to make them good. Yeah, to make them functional. Yes. Oh, I remember that episode of, uh, Power Rangers with the, with the Halloween stuff. 
the Sentai episode has nothing to do with Halloween. They just 100%. Oh, yeah, I would imagine it wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, do they do Halloween in Japan? Not, not, to, not in the way we do it. Their, their month for spooky stuff is summer. Because during the summer is when they tell ghost stories. Huh. Bet Midler, you better not get my channel taken down for Hocus Pocus. <laughs> not Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Gremlins, I'll accept it. I love Gremlins. Oh, and the reluctant werewolf. I also love the Scooby Doo. Why is this guy in a Hawaiian shirt? Uh, the, a lot of the people who did park stuff back in the day just really liked wearing Hawaiian shirts in the 90s. I can't really explain it to you other than that was the vibe at the time <laughs> for people who were like just a weird a weird shirt choice for October, I feel like. I agree. It is very weird, especially for Halloween. And he's from Florida as well. Maybe that's my brother says maybe that has a factor into it. Oh yeah, that might do it. Man, check out that big ass refrigerator. Holy shit, who would ever have that in their house? Who has the space for this? <laughs> That's like a thing you see in like a, uh, um, what are those, uh, ice cream man vans? Or trucks? Are they called trucks? Yeah, they're trucks. See, look, there it is. That's all the footage of the bride from the Bride of Frankenstein. Oh, that's cute. The bats have the TV upside down so they can watch it while they hang upside down. I like that. It is cute. They had good marketing. I don't even mind the fact that they just showed the ending of that movie. <laughs> Costumes from a dollar eighty-three to three ninety-nine. Oh, I remember this when we talked about this. Wow, costumes from a dollar eighty-three. Oh, and it shows. I, I like that they don't have Superman's face. It was Superman's uh, S. Well, no. If you go back to it, there was a little mask there. I think. Oh, was there? Let me, let me go back a bit. Yeah, like a a mask that Superman does not have. All right, one moment. At Sears, did I go too far? No, yeah, you went too far. You can get wrapped candies of okay. every kind. Bubble gum, lollipop, bionic woman. Bionic woman. With one there we go. stop shopping at Woolworth or Woolco for Woolworth. your Halloween needs. Costumes from a dollar eighty three to okay, three ninety nine. Like six million dollar man, million bionic dollar man. woman, superheroes, Batman. Oh, you're right. That is weird. Why would he do that? He doesn't wear a mask. He does not wear a mask. That's the whole thing about him. This Halloween record sounds to make you shiver just a dollar eighty nine. Sounds to make you shiver. A dollar eighty nine. That sounds like a deal to me. So just some spooky yeah. sounds to put on your house. Oh, not the Jay Leno ghost. I remember this one from Big Bad Beetleborgs. Be I was about to say, are those kids Beetleborgs? Yeah, the Big Bad Beetleborgs. Big Bad Beetleborgs. I love that theme song. Didn't like that show, but <laughs> I remember it had a really weird. I always mix up the Beetleborgs and the Metabots. Fair enough. I mean, meta I think the way to remember is that Metabots is animated and the Beetleborgs were uh, live action Sentai. This is another one of those where if you ask the fans of that original Sentai, that they will be very sad about the way that they were treated on the Bringing Over. Ah, uh, this is for Horror Nights? $16 for Horror Nights. I did. Oh no, this is for some Pepsi. To get you some. Oh, I hate when my Pepsi does that. That's what happens when you leave. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the worst when your Pepsi turns into a, a jack o' lantern Pepsi. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. Oh, back when Horror Nights was only like four or five days or so. Now Horror Nights starts at like the. Yes, yeah, September. Near the end of September. Yeah. Miller Light. I think I've said I have this argument with my family all the time. Of like I can't understand how people can drink beer. Yeah, beer is gross. It is very, very gross. I was on that side when everyone's. All right. My brother says he likes alcohol, just not beer. Which, fair enough. <laughs> Give him an IPA and he'll drink it in about five hours. <laughs> Oh my god, Diet Coke? That's terrifying. <laughs> Spooky, haunted Diet Coke. Why is, why is the ghost pouring the Diet Coke that way? Surely that's still a less efficient way than just doing it regularly. Because it takes longer. You're right, and then she dropped it. Maybe this is why she died and turned into a ghost. She's just like... <laughs> she dropped her Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, she's haunted by Tripped and fell. For being extra. Buffy, no. 
of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I also was never. You'd think I would have watched the show growing up, but for some reason I was not. Yeah, this, that seems like a, a very Loki coded show. You're right. Similar to X Files, you you think like, oh, you must have seen this growing up, and the answer is like, nah, I was too scared. Yeah, X Files. You know, having seen that's crazy. Right? I get, that's something I definitely. That's like the most wokey coded show there is. You're, is the X Files. You're correct, because <laughs> I love X Files, but I, I came to it much later. Oh man, check out these sick board games. Nowadays, you would find this on Kickstarter. Wait, said you up? Check out our Goosebumps Terror of the Graveyard Kickstarter, where you can, depending on the level of uh, ways you entered it, you can get different kind of themes to it. Oh my God. Why is it? This is not a Halloween song. No, it is not. I better not get a fucking hit for this, by the way. For, I'm not gonna take that for a granola dip. I'm, <laughs> I know they're coming for their money. I think I had these before. But I don't think they were called. Also, anymore. realistically, those were not dipped. They were probably coated with like a, a pour. Oh, uh, this is again, we see Wicked's budget on display. <laughs> oh my god, it's not a. Not an enticing Wonder Woman cup. Oh, that, that's a sick Darth Vader shirt. Uh, Imagine Darth Vader showed up in a fucking Darth Vader shirt. <laughs> and to really let you know he's Darth Vader. Spook sticks. Shit was just, you know, war. The kid, people, kids in the 70s, they had it all right. Based off that commercial. Yeah, they were, they were doing pretty good. See, this guy is me. Where can I get some delicious burgers? I don't care that I'm a werewolf. I need that burger. <laughs> That's for real. The magic meal. Wow, a whole little tray. Yeah, you get like a little magic trick. This is again back when a kid's meal was like, what, $3 at Burger Chef? Man. Here's a good idea for Halloween. Damn Wrigley's you corporations for taking over. <laughs> we don't get I stuff know, like burger ruined shit everything. <laughs> Truly. How would you feel about trick or treating and getting gum? Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> if it's a juicy fruit, you don't have to like it, my brother says. Mm. Wrigley's gum is the best idea for Halloween. Wrigley's gum. No, it's not. It's, 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 it's I think I might gum. actually prefer like an apple to gum. Hey, yeah, I think that's fair. Gum is just like work that I have to throw away later. This looks like a, 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 a site that my brother would call. <laughs> call of this. <laughs> yeah, the, the, this is one step away from the party freak, the skeleton freak, the spooky skeleton. Call me up right here so you can call me for two minutes. I can't believe how stupid we were back then. The kids would call this guy to be like, I want to talk to a skeleton. I want to talk to the spooky skeleton. Let me call this phone number on my TV screen. You spent $45 talking to the spooky skeleton? What am I going to be for Halloween? Yo, Ronnie. How about a clown? That's terrifying. That guy jump scared me at the end of Vulture. <laughs> His deep ass voice. Oh man, I love old McDonald's commercials. Before, uh, yeah, this is before the lawsuit hits them. This is when back when they were still allowed to do, I think, um, uh, McDonald's land. <laughs> before. Man. Did he just say children should be seen and not heard? Holy shit, did he just say that? We have to go back and hear the alley. <laughs> I think he just said that. They reflect light. Let me hear. Where'd you get them? Right at McDonald's. <sighs> this Halloween, be sure you're all wearing McDonald's trick or treat safety cups. Children should be seen and not hurt. Damn. Oh, hurt. Okay, he said hurt. Oh, hurt. Okay, I thought he said hurt. Yeah, this oh, is. Oh, I think, I think. I think it's supposed to be that, that you go to McDonald's and you get your reflector right cup so that when you're trick or treating with your McDonald's, you don't get run over by a car. I could. No, yeah, that's true. Ghost Grimace. <laughs> Fuck your little jokes, Ronald. It's all about Ghost Grimace. Man, what the? What happened to these these guys? Um. <laughs> People got really scared of clowns, and yeah. I think when the obesity stuff hit, um, they were afraid of Ronald McDonald being the face child of making your kids fat. Uh, also valid. 
Humans, we've come for Dang you. Kangen Kodos. What's the magic word? Well, blast your Man. duty planet to smithereens. That first Kangen Kodos one having uh, James Earl Jones in it was a real like, oh man, I forgot that he was in the original Treehouse of Horrors and he was one of the original aliens as well. Not Kang or Kodos, he played one of the other ones. He played the chef. Man, I would love any of these toys today. Float self separately. Oh. scariest part of Halloween. Is it the Reese's Cups? Is it that you're using Reese's Cups that aren't shaped like <gasps> pumpkins? Having to give away all your Reese's. Have a burger Halloween. Why would you have... <laughs> why would you ever get the Reese's that aren't Halloween shapes? I guess that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Call this guy? <laughs> Hell, yeah. Call the jack o Call the jack o Talk about the weebles. A portion of each goes to the Special Olympics. <laughs> which you should be joining if you're spending... I don't know, $40 talking to the Special Olympics. <laughs> Again, my, again, my brother who was not alive during this, that was just something people did with their phones. Yeah, they would just put a phone number on the screen and then yeah. they'd be like, call this, and people did that for some reason. Yeah, they sure did. Oh no! Oh no, the pizza! This is a parody of Mr. Bill, right? Oh no! I miss Pizza Hut when it was like a restaurant that you went to. Yeah, it's not like that anymore. I miss eating pizza and playing X-Men beat em up on that arcade table. I know. Back when we used to be a real nation. Back when, yeah, back when this was a real country. <laughs> back when this was a real country. Also, yes, that was in fact a Goosebumps pizza that you saw, boy. We did. It all came down. Thanks, 9-11. Yes, Mom, this Halloween, your kids can have fun creating their own scary disguise with cookies. Skull, man. Skull face. Oh, my God, this is the bad guy from Metal Gear Solid. This is where Kojima took it from. Green face. Piccolo would be very disappointed. <laughs> I, I'm the Hulk. Oh, yeah, you can be a makeup goblin. Oh, wait a minute. That ghost face of the kid in black is not right. You, can, you, can, you, can't, be, you can't be selling that nowadays. <laughs> But look at that witch one had it's a different life. era. She's the first one with Again, we see here Wicked's, <laughs> Wicked's budget on display. She is near. She's ready for it. Halloween safer than that looks wrong. And pumpkin light safer for a spooky pumpkin uh, too. I mean, right in, uh, man, I, I don't know. Maybe boom. it's because I'm old, but put a real fire in that Osco, pumpkin. Don't be afraid. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of an old head on that too, you know? Yeah, take that kid back in the 70s. Fuck your innovations. Get a real fire. Oh, I miss this voice too. This is a voice that is very hard to explain. To the, I'm gonna talk like this now, where it's like yeah, it's, the the rant, like the Igor voice or whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah, based based I don't off know how to describe it either. But it, it's it, based it off a of very... an old actor from like the 1940s, like from the horror movies and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was the I'm spooky narrator voice for, like, all of the 90s. Yeah, because when they grew up, that was the voice they heard. And then it's funny that now the voice carries over, but no one remembers who the actor is unless you were a fan of specific horror genres. Go, Sabrina. Now, of course, because this was a show about a witch, I did watch Sabrina growing up. Okay, yeah, that that's also a Wokey Code show. <laughs> This is terrifying. The Boo Bazaar? Hallmark? No, they're too busy making bad um, Christmas movies to make real shit like this. <laughs> real peak shit right here. This is straight up peak. I don't know what... Look at that. Scary shorts. <laughs> Look at these amazing effects. Hallmark really had it for their commercials back then. Oh, I love when that was just straight up a clip they show from... like adults in Halloween costumes, and their Halloween costume is always just their normal clothes with like a hat on. Yes, <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it's like awesome, man. Great job. I also like that Night Night of the Living Dead is in public domain, so they could just put a clip of Barbara there. Mm-hmm. Thank God for the public domain. Imagine this is how I would be so pissed if I went to Target and experienced this. I came in here for to look at some card game stuff that you might have owned, and now I'm in the Tower of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> Only if at, at the end of my elevator ride I'm next to the Pokemon cards. Otherwise, this was a waste of my time. Ah, <laughs> uh, 
Toys R Us, rest in peace. That was an amazing transition right there. Check out this fucking guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's Yoda? That's what what? That's Yoda, brother. That was a Yoda costume? I don't fucking think so. That was Yoda. I don't know what the hell that first thing was. Spooky witch. Spooky skeletons. Star Wars, of course. We've uh, see this took place at least 20 years later because now that Darth Vader costume is a full Darth Vader costume and not a kid wearing a Darth Vader shirt. Yeah, a lot of these costumes are just like shirts. Yeah, especially back in the old days. They weren't so extra like we are nowadays. Halloween? This is a more modern one. What's going on? Oh, this is, has to be supernatural. Again, a show you'd think that I would watch, but I did not watch it. You'd think I would, but I think it's because it was on the CW. I did not check it out. Oh, this is this is vaguely related to Halloween, but I, I assume you don't know anything about Fortnite. No, no, not well. My brother keeps me uh, going on well, about Fortnite. For okay. Well, they released a uh, skin for Edward Scissorhands. Yes, no, Edward Scissorhands. And it's, it's really funny because when you zoom in to look through the scope, his scissor fingers cover the scope. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. That's hilarious. You can't see through the through the scope. You have to live through the terrifying life that he had to live through. <laughs> Not being able to, to aim his guns. Yeah, that's why you couldn't kill himself. You couldn't. <laughs> you get an extra bite in Baby Ruth and Butterfinger because they're bigger than before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Again, if I was ignored for a Baby Ruth, my, I'm going my... Yeah, of all candies, a Baby Ruth. My brother is out here defending Baby Ruth, so I'm not, I'm not saying I have beef with it, no, but I'm, I'm not just saying... No, I'm not going to entertain that for even a second. I'm just saying that if you are Terrible. going to... He, but Zen says you're wrong. But I'm just saying in general, if you're going to ignore me for a Baby Ruth, at least like ignoring me for a Snickers. Like uh, the one right, that... Yeah. Yeah, like a good candy bar, at least. <laughs> like the top tier one. Butterfingers used to be good, so that's not understandable. But yeah, old Butterfingers. We have to remember that old yeah. Butterfingers was actually pretty sick. Then they changed the formula. So am I. Haha, I get it, I'm here. See, this is the opposite of the target going into the into the <laughs> Tower of Terror. If I go, went into a party with a bunch of like uh, like a monster mash type of situation, I'd enjoy that. Sure. Gladly. Yeah, go check out the Bates Motel with me, Elvira. They are really nerfing her boobs in these commercials. <laughs> they gotta do what they gotta do, man. Yeah, it's true. It's it's really funny because that is the main asset of Elvira. And for commercials, they have to hide it. Oh, that was a Smash player commercial. That's interesting. <laughs> I love my mug. I love my mug. Who doesn't love mug? This summer, coming this summer. to a supermarket near you, there's going to be Oh shit, the Ghostbuster Bonnie theme is 100% gonna get me flagged. <laughs> Don't oh my god, you're right. It's totally gonna get blasted. Oh no. High Z though. Ah uh, man. Look at this high Z. There's a ghost is coming right out of the high Z. Oh my god, turn the what? music off. <laughs> yep, once again, Wicked's budget on display right here for high Z Electro Cooler. <laughs> You can get some Ecto Coolers now. Enough, um. The only thing you can't get anymore is, um. Crystal Pepsi. That's that's how that's how far our nostalgia goes. We stop at Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> is this for not scary tour? Yeah, it is. The quarantine. Called quarantine. <laughs> Let's see, spooky ghost. Why so glum, chum? I love school, my trick-or-treat candy. Back in the 70s, kids just said chum and everyone just took it as okay. Yeah, that's just the thing people said. Damn, that kid is really... Real fucking ghost. Cry me a river. After lying around 
for three years. Today's Duracell batteries still okay. come up to uh, I thought this was gonna go life. into a deeper metal textual thing about people, but no, it's about batteries. There's <laughs> a yeah. that proves it. So you've got I'm not messing with a Dracula Africa. on D batteries. Today's Duracell. The bro's three gonna be tweaking like crazy. <laughs> I have our. This might also get me flagged because of the various of clips of oh, some really like great old, old films movies. here. Yeah. Giant Gila Monster. They gotta be like. Wasp Woman is in. Though. These are also all movies that I looked at for our uh, potential our stream coming up. By the way, because <laughs> they're in the public domain. You win. Flicker treat. It is called that. You couldn't call that flicker treat today. And the headless horseman raised his pumpkin hat. Now at McDonald's Halloween Happy Meal Pail. Uh, did you see the new McDonald's bucket? One with each Happy Meal you buy. And now it's not as good. I have controversial opinions about the new McDonald's bucket for Halloween. Happy Halloween certificates. They used to be better. It's only a dollar. Your gang can turn them in for free dessert treats like you? cones and sample size. If you do not dress up that baby as a mafia. Also comes with a mail-in certificate for this. These also look like some great one piece characters. Your video cassette of the smash hit who framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, I'm gonna get hit for this 100%. This isn't even Halloween. It's gonna be Roger Rabbit that fucking gets my channel so hit with something. It's eerie. What do you put in your McDonald's Halloween pumpkins? Booty and McBoo, matey. Carrot and a goblin. I don't trust a kid who dresses now up as a bunny for Halloween. Three different pumpkins with the purchase of every McDonald's Halloween pumpkin. The McBoo, the McPumpkin, the McDonald. The castle of the chicken McNuggets. What are you making? Oh, Dracula Sauce. McNugget. We're using my mummy's. Oh man, that, that's a rare one right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> Is that Princess mm, Leia McNugget? Oh, never mind. It's a uh, bride. Now bride we get McDonald's Happy Meal pails for Halloween. There's a pumpkin pail, <gasps> a witch, <gasps> and a ghost. <gasps> You could definitely use these for Halloween, but these did not carry enough candy. You can get a different one each week but I still think they look pretty cool. They're good for like maybe a three year old. I use Count Chocula animated so well. Those eyes are looking at me. Hmm, think I'll get some fruity Frankenberry from the cupboard. Don't look in the cupboard. Oh, oh, those eyes, they move. Now the spooky, delicious part of your complete breakfast is even spookier. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. So did Frankenberries. He is looking at you, kids. <laughs> I'm just saying that Boo Berry is like there is like the piccolo of the group comes in later in the movies. You know what I mean? Uh, I can see that. Frankenberry and Count Chocula, they're the the main cast and then Boo Berry comes in later like an hour into the film to help out. And juicy pieces of fried chicken. Is this fried chicken? Hot, crisp fries. And a fresh baked mm. biscuit. Is this Roy for... Roger's big chicken deal. Just a dollar ninety nine. Man, fried chicken mm. places have the best biscuits. You they do. Think about it. I've never heard of a Roy Rogers before. Holy I've heard of it, but <laughs> <laughs> my brother's reaction to that skeleton was holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This is some great stuff. Mm. Bro's going crazy. This, see, Hallmark used to be a real place. Back when they were allowed to cook up commercials instead of bad uh, Christmas movies. This Halloween, find fun somewhere new. Pillsbury Halloween cookies. I wonder what happened to the Pillsbury Doughboy. I don't see him as often anymore. I think it's because uh, he... I think it's because we aren't allowed to enjoy a giant man anymore. <laughs> Sad to say. A lot of battery commercials. Spooky batteries, man. Batteries yeah. used to be the thing. <laughs> it's true. My brother says that the, the battery companies were beefing back then. They were all trying to show that they were the superior battery. Dracula just fucking died. Yeah, I guess some of these commercials are pro Dracula, and these other ones are like anti. We have to kill him. We, yeah, we have to kill Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Halloween Hornets. Is it? Yeah, this is Halloween Hornets. Never sit down somewhere where someone makes that that <laughs> like motion at you. Never do that. It's true. You don't have one. Oh, this is a fantastic horror night. 
where it was like all Jack the big dudes of, Freddy and of, uh, at Universal Studios of horror icons. Spring and Coke Zero with real Coke taste and save up to thirty dollars. Ah, that's the, the most scariest, scariest thing. The scariest <laughs> horror night monster of all, Coke Zero. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, now this is an amazing fake Godzilla costume. Don't get too racist. That's, that is Godzilla. great value, Godzilla, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Still kind of sick though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I like that the cola was not in Japanese text, but was just in vaguely Japanese looking. <laughs> lemonade. Fuck lemonade. <laughs> Give me real shit. <laughs> This is how I be slamming down my Dr. Pepper. Yeah. The day is saved thanks to Dr. Pepper. Godzilla like, doesn't even know how to handle it. No, He's he like, doesn't. wait. Wait, what? And they ignored his wants and destruction. Some more Hocus Pocus. Uh, the word is wicked. Ah, oh, see, Wicked, coming soon to theaters. Not in Halloween time, though. <laughs> they said only one uh, big musical is allowed to fail in October, and that's Joker. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Chambers from the original movie, Don't Look Under the Bed. Don't look. Don't tell me what to tell. I'm here to check out how haunted the mansion really is. Join Erin on her wicked it Turns out it's pretty haunted. There's 999 haunts inside there. <laughs> that guy's not there, though. <laughs> do you know people leave their... Uh, they had to ask them to stop doing this, but people do it regardless. People leave behind family ashes at the haunted mansion. Doesn't surprise me. No. They had to ask... They, they do it so they the, because they like the ride and they want them to join up to be one of the the, the spooks haunting haunted mansion and they said disney had to come out and say please stop leaving your loved ones behind at the haunted mansion <laughs> all the little peanuts characters and a happy halloween special that's filled you know that technically uh there's nothing saying that you can't just dump your ashes places like legally really yeah nice I also feel like I'm going to be taken down from here for all these uh, grainy-ass pictures of the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I didn't get taken down from the pinball video, actually, funny enough, so maybe I'm safe. Um, I guess it's true. So in that way, I would like if I were to go out for my ashes to be spread out in the funniest way possible. Any place that it would be funny to say, Loki now exists there, I want him to be left there. Look what's rising out of the pumpkin patch this Halloween. Oh yeah, the pumpkin cutter, a great way to let your kids carve their own. Wow, the, the child safe pumpkin. Hands. It even makes yeah. grins Yeah, I didn't chop off, off my fingers. Whatever, man. I said that kid needs to grow up, and, and you need to have the ability to chop off your fingers, kid. Glowing results. Have a great pumpkin this Halloween. I might have bought it for you, but we didn't have me and me and our sister. Did, uh, me and my sister did not have it growing up. We used the regular ass knife. And I think that might explain why she eventually got it for my brother <laughs> to use one of those. Ah, Mountain Dew jump scare! Not pitch black! This is the scariest of the Dew flavors. I don't remember. Oh my god, oh my god, it's Blue Mountain Dew. That's the worst. It is. What? See, they're looking at him because. See, that guy is. Oh my god, evil. it made him evil. Right. They said don't be afraid, but it clearly made him evil. I have never been more fucking terrified in my life. Where can I get- Why does that Dracula look like Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> I was wrong! The woke left isn't destroying comedy! <laughs> the woke left didn't destroy Halloween. I shouldn't have gone out with that 17 year old, you're right. <laughs> I was visited by three Halloween spirits. <laughs> What's the, I was gonna say, is this a commercial for the PS3? <laughs> a commercial for pro goth women, my brother says. 
Oh, Luigi's Mansion. Never mind. Remember when they were trying Damn, to? He was really going in on that that goth girl. He was not giving her a whole lot of space, was he? Oh my God, that goth woman turned into a GameCube. You can't support her as the GameCube. Oh yeah, God. why are you moving away from the GameCube? This is why people don't deserve real goth women. Goth women, <laughs> hit me up. I support you and your ability to turn into the GameCube. <laughs> yes. Yes. The Of their console, the goth girl console of theirs is the GameCube. It's the only thing that makes sense. Wii U? That's the girl failure of the Nintendo consoles. <laughs> Real. An absolute failure, but something about them makes you just, like, appreciate them. Oh yeah, he's going crazy. See, why couldn't Twilight do this? <laughs> oh yeah, she's a ghost. She, you can tell she's a ghost because she's just a lighter shade of white and otherwise unchanged. Yep. <laughs> Terrifying. One of them is just straight up a clown. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? There we see Trump back in the 80s. Showing up for a Hallmark commercial. <laughs> see the Monday idea of life of just people in costumes randomly on Halloween. This is my costume. And at yep. participating Hallmark stores, get your hands on the spooky sounds tape, full of creepy sounds and Halloween theme songs. A dollar ninety-five, a dollar $95. A dollar ninety-five. $5 with any five-dollar purchase, and you can get some spooky ass sounds. It's a scream. Pretty good deal, not gonna lie. Sounds pretty sick. Can't hate on that deal. Come to Six Flags. For a second, there, I thought this said Brickfest, and now it's Fright Fest. <laughs> Frighteningly fun shows, plus heart-pounding rides on these October days and nights. So don't just mm. creep in. Yeah, they did the before it stopped like being uh, a good idea to be kid-friendly. Man, I think that they don't do these the same way that they used to either nowadays. I think that you literally, like, it's just the entire month of October at theme parks. That's correct. Yeah, basically. Thanks. Thank you. Give Easter Seal safe Halloween coupons. Practice safe Halloween, kids. At local stores and restaurants. Thank you. Put it, give them your coupon. Halloween coupons. Thank you. And give the treat yeah. that gives treats. That was a really Thank good, you. like, prosthetic lion mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked up. What was the adult woman that, taking care of that little child who is clearly got disability and needs help? Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh my god, Adam's family, Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh god, big head. Wednesday. Now this one should be bald. <laughs> Wednesday always wins. She said, I'm going over Honey Nut Cheerios B. <laughs> that doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> that doesn't work for me, brother. Oh, can we have like Gomez or Morticia? Nah, you get Lurch. Lurch. Lurch is cool. Frankenstein have super strength? I guess that's that's not a thing I'm aware of. Yeah, yeah, he he, he kind of does. I think in the more modern day people give it to him. Back then, he was supposed to be just insanely strong, but just have a childlike body, a childlike brain. For a really great Halloween, pick up tons of Pepsi and Doritos. Oh God damn it! That's mean. Pepsi and Doritos, Jesus. Terrifying. Looks like a good time to check out Burger Oh man. It's the the Burger King Kids Club. Nice costume. I'm so scared. Nineties. You can tell that these kids have attitudes. Oh, I would love these toys nowadays. Burger King Kids Club. Great food, cool stuff, kids only. That's right. That they're denying me now. I can't go join the kids club anymore. Yeah, kids only, man. Kids I only. I remember when I turned in and I had to turn in my Burger King Kids Club. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they made you. They made you turn it in on your 18th birthday when you got your license renewed at the DMV. Yeah, I had to give it to him. And said it was a good run. He's like, yeah. <laughs> we were all there at one point, kid. I'm, I mean, sir. 
imockery.com. Man, they were just making websites out of anything back then. They were. Here's the a fuck is imockery.com. <laughs> back when you just needed mock and stuff. Wow, there it is. I don't oh, like the visual of this. <laughs> yeah, that that doesn't look like. That is not clear. No, 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 thank you. Mm. Happy Halloween. Enjoy the that. sound it was making and the motion. That was that was not a commercial that would get made today. My nope. Find her Halloween party. My wife, a tall drink of Coors Light. No Coors Light party here. It's behind that panel. This era of people uh, hiring Leslie Nielsen to do funny comedy bits is very funny. Of your favorite Coors Light Halloween I love when they said, like, how were you so funny in airport? And then he said, I had no idea that airport was a comedy. Good. And I said, that's why you were so funny in it. Because <laughs> you, uh -huh. <laughs> you had zero idea. Oh, tell me that you can call this guy. <laughs> and he serves 10 to 12 people. That's crazy. Once again, wicked marketing going crazy. <laughs> Call 1 800 327 gift. That just says have a happy. And then it's just a pumpkin head. It doesn't say Halloween on it anymore. <laughs> this is in case you miss Halloween. Have a happy. <laughs> just have a happy. Just have whatever. Yeah. Supposed to be. Uh, that was what I would put on my uh, my cake. Just be happy. <laughs> Spooky Zima. Hey, Bobby, you 21, not wine. No, keep a fridge full of Zima for all your. Hey, Bob, are you 21? <laughs> I can't get before I can give you this sick Zima. You have to tell me you're 21. <laughs> Once I think this is again clips from Night of the Living Dead, right? I believe so, yeah. They really are dead. Oh. Yeah, if they're if they're that excited for Miller Lite, they really are lost, I'm afraid. Lost souls. No salvation here. Zero. Hello, Elvira. Give him my hand. The official beer of Halloween? Who decided that? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Man. What? Ha what? Halloween council? I feel. If anything, we should decide that. I feel like. Oh yeah, we should. Definitely. Halloween's strongest soldiers. <laughs> oh, the, between the three of us, is my brother is also watching in the background. What is the beer of Halloween? We'll have to figure it out. It's the right way to be there. Like. Damn that that kid did a really good Undertaker sit. <laughs> Oh, that is not. <laughs> Spooky Goop is a really good name for it. I'm just saying that that picture does not look good in the quality that we have it in here. No, no. It looks a little bit wrong. Would you like some Spooky Goop for your vase? Craftsman? Oh, Spooky Wrenches. Uh, this is what Jigsaw sees inside his mind. There's a craftsman <laughs> in all of us. And a Mantide skeleton. Nick at night wants to hear you scream. Okay. Well, Nick at night can mind its own fucking business. How about that? <laughs> how about you make me, Nick at night? Yeah, how about you fucking make me, buddy? Hanging George Lopez is not going to get me to scream. I'll tell you that shit right now. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't bring back, bring back the Keenan and Kale Halloween special. Two heads are better than mine. Searching for antiques to breathe life in the rooms of my own home. At last, here at the Antique Guild, I've found the at largest last. selection of antiques. This is what Vincent Price has been going for prices. his entire life. Arranged in beautiful room settings. Would he lie to you? <laughs> the man who would accept no a check from anywhere? Search through back alleys and dusty shops. You'll find true a man who would likely make a commercial for Peeps if they gave him enough money? <laughs> Kids. Casper, Hi, Casper. Oh, Casper. Target. Why is bro so I'm glad that, that you're supporting you? Target, Casper. <laughs> We've got everything. Target is crazy it's haunted. It's me who's scaring them. It sure can't be the prices. A dollar ninety-six each. A dollar ninety-six for a bag of Snickers. Two for three dollars, Tootsie Rolls and Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Rolls never was a fan of Tootsie Rolls. Except for monsters. 
Halloween. Wow, that was a that was a scary little girl. Yeah. Casper's a coward. Holy water. Killer outfit. Too bad the nightlife sucks. Whoa. Dracula returns to Is this for Castlevania? <laughs> uh -huh. Castlevania N64? Uh -huh. Out of all of them, they they picked the gay boy at the fucking N64 Castlevania game? That's right, Duracell lasts forever. Fuck your carbon batteries. Yeah, I don't go to the store and get carbon batteries. You can't anymore, because Duracell won the war. <laughs> Duracell. Beep, beep, beep. The copper top battery. No regular battery looks like it. We have or last like it. Halloween is coming. My favorite holiday. I give my friends. This guy's also doing an any monster impression. Bars. They're made with real milk chocolate. chocolate and light. In the spirit of the season, here's what Nestle is doing for me. I get a dollar refund with every two spaces. Here's what Nestle's doing for me. They got their favorite child worker to get me some delicious candy. My friends know. You scared me. That kid is a bunny. What do you mean he scared you? He's a fucking rabbit. That's the joke, because that Frankenstein's a coward. Casper's haunting Pizza Hut? Yeah. No, it's Have you ever tried yeah, eating pizza? Remember when Chuck Crust Pizza was like crazy? Yeah, the the innovation of the time. Just nine ninety nine. Every living person will be eating it the wrong way, crust first. Every every living person. So that means only the dead will be allowed to eat pizza normally. Yeah, only the dead will be able to eat pizza strangely. <laughs> no! Come on, Ghostbusters theme! Stop trying to get my channel taken down! <laughs> they, really, they really want to get your channel taken down. Ghostbusters cereal, that's right. <laughs> Would you like some delicious fruit? Ghostbuster cereal. Oh, that's probably what they're singing here, but now I'm afraid of getting hit by, um... Um, who, who the hell did they steal the Ghostbusters backing theme from? Was it Love is a Drug? I forget the name of the song now. Why is there Ghostbusters cereal? Ghostbusters was big back in the day. They gave it to everything. Back when Nickelodeon had these weird little cool animation stuff. Giant corn! That kid is not the happy. The scariest of all. Yeah. That kid is not happy to be the giant corn. There's nothing in the dark. Oh, for our, are you, uh, um, are you afraid of the dark? The split. Why are you going trick or treating as a football player? How, uh, how much of a jock do you have to be to be a kid who's like, I want to be a quarterback to win? <laughs> yeah, for real. That kid has no imagination. <laughs> I'm calling you out. Brought to you by McDonald's and Amazing Fruit Gummy Bears Back when and Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, the ultimate combo. Fright Fest. This one is way scarier sounding than the, the previous one. Yeah. But cousin Skeeter. Yeah, he's being like haunted by old Nickelodeon programming. I know. I remember trying to tell my brother about the fact that Nickelodeon had a show in which it was a black family who had a black puppet in the family, and they just treated him like normal. Uh -huh. And they never acknowledged that he was a puppet, and he said, it looked at me like I was a crazy person. A reasonable Skeeter. reaction. That's probably what I would do, too. <laughs> but it's it was true. Yeah, it was a show back then. And then he went to space at one point. Uh -huh. Sure did. The humans. Oh yeah, Blair Witch Parries. They were everywhere back in the day. And now they're nowhere. Now it's all about skibbity toy. Not a creature was stirring except for Fred's house. Cartoon Network was Skibbity Biden, my brother says. That's what the kids are into probably. Why is the Grinch on this Halloween commercial? Because Halloween is Grinch night is I believe a special they made. I guess Grinch is like if he hated Christmas, he must have loved Halloween. Is the idea. Oh, is that is that like the hierarchy? Like yeah. Christmas and Halloween are opposites. Yeah, that's how we felt. Like fire and ice type. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like that. Oh, rest in peace. This is a good commercial though. Sorry, you're not on the guest list. I love shit like this. This is how we get King of the Hill, Hank Hill interacting with Silver Surfer. It's stuff like this. <laughs> 
Haunted House Halloween Bash. Halloween Bash. With Sylvester and Tweety. Next. Uh, wow, with Sylvester and Tweety. That's right. They squat squashing the beef for did, the first Did Batman Beyond Bruce Wayne just tell Team Rocket to go fuck themselves? Yeah, basically. He wasn't having any of their nonsense. The master of kid suspense, R.L. Stein, brings your favorite books to life in the oh, yeah. Fox Kids television series. Oh, this is when they was debuting. Not always what they appear to be. Uh, Haunted Fox kids, Fox though. That was. <laughs> I don't know how he still had juice in that box. Bro was sucking the <laughs> shit out of that. Walmart's ready for Halloween. Oh, no. It's the strangest thing. Everybody's wild about new scratch and sniff stickers. Oh, the yeah, that's what the people are going crazy for on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Scratch and sniff stickers. Cuddly the streets are popping off for these scratches. <laughs> are so streets are speaking about this right now. Disappear. So come to Hallmark, the Halloween store. <laughs> We're waiting for you. The world's biggest Halloween oh, party God. is coming to Six Flags Great Adventure Friday night, Saturday. They need to bring Sunday, back this guy as an icon. I am spooky skeleton man. Giant Christmas pumpkin head, I mean. Fun for the whole family. <laughs> See, he's back. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, one of the scariest riots possible for Halloween. Is, was it Six Flags the ones who did the thing where they said they would do the the ride in reverse? So that you wouldn't That's crazy. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to see it. So all the rides were like in reverse. And I remember as a kid, I was like, that sounds terrifying. Because at least you can see what's happening when you look in front of you. But imagine having all the crazy roller coaster shit happen to you and you can't see shit. <laughs> exactly. Casper, this is live action Casper. Yeah. Just trying to get some. Pepsi. Oh, I can't get the Pepsi. Mm. Uh, Pepsi Which needs to go back to him. Because Pepsi tastes like shit. <laughs> nice design on the can, though. I want them to go back to the white can. Not a fan of the blue can. Feels like too much like they're trying to copy Coca Cola. <laughs> Real. Brown bag. They really tried to push this movie. They said, you know what's gonna be the hotness? Do you? It's gonna be Casper. Cause you know who else is in this movie? The fucking the Ghostbusters are in this movie. Mel Gibson is in this movie. Um. On all Halloween. Clint Eastwood is in this movie. <laughs> The, the live action Casper, they really tried. Oh my god, I remember this show. My mom used to watch the show. I couldn't tell you what it's called. I think it's called Charm. I remember this show. It's a lot of. No, it's your Again, because it's about witches, you'd think I would be into it, but for some reason the CW debuff was enough to keep me away. A charmed Halloween. A hang. A charmed Halloween. We're gonna hang our main female cat. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hang the the whip. Holy shit! Hang these witches. Igor. This Halloween, when you start. This feels weird. And Doritos. Pepsi's like, nah. We need this. Get me the sexy witch woman pumping down Doritos and Pepsi's into a cauldron. But all the the junk food you can possibly find in the cauldron. Yeah. Drink Here's Pepsi. To howl about. This week at 89 cents? Pepsi -Cola, two, liters are just 89 cents. two liters of soda for 89 cents. This is the scariest thing. Oh, see, this is some old Boy, Frankenstein clip. Like you could use some breakfast. They had to pay money for this because Frankenstein is not in the public domain. <laughs> oh, the honey. The honey convinced him. Good, good. He's got real honey, and he's like, alright, alright, hang on. <laughs> that's, that's also how I treat friends nowadays. If they just give me some food, and I'm like, this is delicious, good, red. Buffy once again. What is it? Blood. Halloween comes to Sunnydale. See, that was a cool-looking skeleton. Buffy, I feel like, is not a Halloween show. Really? It really feels like it got typecast. <laughs> well, back then, because of the yearly nation of TV shows, you just so happened to have an episode that was on Halloween, so you may as well just have one, a special, right? That's how we also got a bunch of Christmas specials as well. Which we don't get nowadays, sadly. Blueberry. See, I told you. He's like the Green Ranger. He shows up. Like the Green Ranger. <laughs> what? Am I wrong? 
Look at this. They scare. They save all this for the blueberry reveal. He's the six ranger of the the three Halloween cereals. Oh, this fucking guy smackums, right? Yeah. Honey smacks. I wonder if they still use honey smacks for stuff. I feel like I've seen honey smacks still. Oh my god, that cat's gonna kill him. I wanted smacks to be in my breakfast and now I'm gonna die. But thankfully for him, that cat was a coward. And stupid. Yeah, that cat's an idiot. Costume. What do you guys like? Four or five? Forty-six. All right, yeah. Okay. Here you go. You don't understand, Slick. We're here for the party. <laughs> yeah, that's is that good. like cannibalism? Is that like feeding them their young? Yes. I, mean, I assume that is one hundred percent. Yes. What's happening? I want to tell you about something your children will love: monster All right. vitamins. I, you're right. If I was a child, I would love monster vitamins. Yeah, that's true. If I had to have vitamins. Monsters taste terrific too, mother. Your children should get vitamins. I'll say mother that way. Mother. Monsters and monsters plus iron sure help. Vincent Price try not to sound creepy. Challenge. Impossible. Those kids were in the basement. Are we not going to acknowledge that? It's okay, back in the 70s, you could make jokes like that. Now this is fucked up. I'm a pirate. No. Spaceman? No. He literally just carved... They cut his flesh. Yeah, they scooped out his innards. That'll help scare away anybody who tries to steal the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes cereal. I'll never forget that... So, Jerry Seinfeld came out with a movie about the making of Kellogg's and stuff, and it's a fake movie about the making of Pop-Tarts. Um, and at my job, we worked on it, and one of the biggest codes I remember that we got were people angry that it was not a real story. <laughs> By the end of it, they thought everything that happened was real, and then at the end, he said he made it up, and then they were angry. Oh, so that is so funny. That is very funny. Back when a dog was the icon for drinking beer. Yeah, that's sick. You're not beating the white woman allegations about dogs and no. lady. No. Not the way you said that. A true story. Last year, one of everyone's favorite candies appeared in a Halloween-sized pack. And oh, Skittles. And spread quickly. It's a big-ass thing of Skittles. I like Skittles. I don't know if I would consider them a top Halloween candy. Yeah, I don't think they should that Only your fruity pebbles can set my spirit free. <laughs> my fruity pebbles? That's actually John Cena under that statue. <laughs> John Cena theme plays. Oh my god. How far did he go for these cereal? <laughs> for these fruity bubbles? Okay. You put double costumes in there. Yeah, he, he, he double he double layered. No! No, it's Dude. the X Flags old man. Ah! Oh, <laughs> He's too. back. He's terrifying, and he's here to demonetize my channel once again with this fucking Venga Boys opening banger. <laughs> nah, I've got to get this stupid thing stuck in my head for everything. I can't believe they ever fired that old man. As a kid, I always thought that that old man was real. Yeah, this is Slappy Dummy. Hey, this is an entire special with a bunch of like different segments in it. I watched it one year. <laughs> it's a hell of a thing. Kids, Fox Kids. You know, you really should try to get some sun. I like you shouldn't say rocks, kids. Uh, nowadays you should not ever at any point say you're gonna be rocking kids. I remember this. As a kid, I was like, I would love to be able to make gummy candy on demand. 
Tarantula but I never fly, know. Cockroach, you can make <laughs> and now magic powder stir and Wow, a juicy live cockroach is not a thing I would ever want to say. No. But again, it was the 90s, so you're like, kids love gross things, right? That's true, that was a big thing. E.T. Hey! That, that will not be on the 13 Nights. I will not be watching E.T. I don't consider E.T. a horror movie. <laughs> I don't know, because... Yeah, Haunted Mansion. Let's go. Eddie Murphy. This is a beautiful house you got here. Freak show back there. That's him throughout that entire movie. I didn't come here for no ghost. We're gonna rule the kids. And monsters grow 60 feet tall. Oh, look how much fun they're having. <laughs> Goosebumps, live on stage, coming fall 19. That's right, they used to have stuff like that for Goosebumps. Not around anymore, sadly. Ever since kids stopped reading books. Absolute shame. Yeah. Save us, Cap'n Crunch. Horrifying, isn't it? With all horrifying <laughs> you're right captain you're absolutely right but thankfully his cereal was enough to keep them at bay do you think that he has to go through the different ranks like at one point he was admiral crunch probably well admiral's higher than captain I think. oh is it it's his final form yeah isn't admiral like the highest thing he can, get, can be that makes sense it's just not Bro, where the fuck were you like trick or treating at a home near a homeless man and he just gave you whatever he had on hand? It's true, they, they don't do that. Or like a sock. Walgreens with the propaganda. Halloween doesn't have to be spooky. Then the price is lying to your face. With Easter Seal safe Halloween coupons. The safe treat you can really tell the age safe had gone Halloween into coupons are good for treats at stores and restaurants. Give them to trick or treaters or treat yourself. Give Easter treat yourself. Don't give Halloween coupons, coupons to trick or treaters. <laughs> it seems like a me? bad so seems like bad form. Oh, to AMC theaters, all sick. I can go watch Pokemon the movie currently in theaters. <laughs> Oh my God, is this a is this a psycho a reference commercial? Yes. Half for you and half for me, just the way we like it. So no, someone delivered this pizza. You know what happens when we have visitors? It's not delivery, mother. Don't lie to me, boy. No, mother. It's DiGiorno. How will you have and have pizza? Keeps Christ. everyone in the family right. happy. It's not this is exactly the vision in which um Alfred Hitchcock yes, imagined for his movie. Whoa. Holy shit, he's built like Shazam. <laughs> like Zachary <laughs> Levi in Shazam. <laughs> he sang like Elvis, did not dress up like Elvis. Make it make sense. I wouldn't want to be a chicken nugget anytime. Ever, actually. Hello, Hi. I love the Crypt Keeper. I also love this uh, this show. Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger actually directed an episode of um, of one of them. There's actually a lot of directors. Yeah, there's like uh, it's also a good episode too. A lot of directors like um, directed episodes of of this because it was an HBO show. And so people treated it like it was like a high octane thing. Not high octane, what's the right word for it? High quality thing. So it has some of the best horror stuff you can imagine in it. And you can't find it anywhere now. Because it's not like on Max or something. So good luck trying to find Tales from the Crypt. I have it all downloaded somewhere. That's where I have mine on. Is that, a, is that a adult corn pop? Yes. I think I'm about to get killed by Milkman. Thank God they sang, otherwise that would be horrifying. <laughs> Just six dudes ready to eat a woman alive. Go and get me what I crave. I don't like the smile he's giving. Yeah, I don't. I'll After he said what he craved, I feel like that could have gone a very different direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
That's how I want to enter all rooms. What did he scream? Beer? If you want a better orange soda, made with more natural orange flavor than ever before, try Shasta. Shasta. It's got the right color. Shasta? No, I don't think so. No one gotta be acting like that for Shasta. Shasta does not. <laughs> Shasta lost the war, guys. <laughs> Shasta 100% lost the war on this one. <clears throat> entertainment? Zero entertainment. Name the media. Not a great name. <laughs> name the anime. Zero entertainment. Zero. <clears throat> Dumb film. Die too. What is this? There it is. Oh, you think so? Thumb Blair Witch? It might be. This it is. is. <laughs> Blair Thumb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Blair thumb. I don't know where this snot is coming from because I don't have a nose. I get it. Steve Odenkirk is also the Odenkirk is the the guy behind Kung Pao into the Fist. That's what I think about every time I see one of those thumb specials. Based on the bestsellers of R.L. It's a good movie. You should watch that movie again. Goosebumps, the haunted mask. They spent all the budget and goosebumps on this mask. But to be fair, it's a really good mask. It is a good mask. A most chilling experience is waiting for you. You can make your next part Reading! Oh, this is what I want for my birthday next year. Goosebumps gig. Play the fucking Goosebumps game again. <laughs> dun 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 dun. There, yeah, they're not playing. See, Kid Me would love all that shit. He'd be like, I would love more books, thank you. Off and hoping and skeletons. McDonald's? Skeleton! 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 What are you supposed to be? I'm a bean burrito! Now when you buy a Taco Bell kids meal, you can get a Goosebumps toy! It's a wrapping mummy. <laughs> That's right. No Taco Bell had kids meal. They did. They used to have, uh, I think they had a, that, that Slappy looks a little bit like Hitler. Not gonna lie. What are you? Taco Bell! Fetch that food, dog! They had Godzilla toys, I think, back in the day as well. I'll try. This Halloween, terrifying creatures are on the loose at Taco Bell. Yeah, this isn't what it looks like to be go to Taco Bell. As someone who used to go there all the time, I can tell you right there, I see these dudes all the time. Damn, I kind of want Taco Bell. Yeah, I wouldn't mind some right now. See, like, Slappy just does, the, like, the, the open mouth looks too much like a mustache from the grainy quality. That's true. So it was like a like big neck Hitler. I remember having a huge. I have huge opinions about the quality of Halloween Town too. The sequel to Halloween Town. Halloween is cool. Thank you, little girl. I agree with you. Yeah. This is the this this movie was the reason why I wanted Disney Channel as a kid. Was to watch this movie. <laughs> Shout out to the Jamaican flag. Representing mm -hmm. Halloween Town. Yeah, when you combine the irresistible taste of fruit snacks with the spookiness of goosebumps, new goosebumps fruit roll-ups with scary peel-outs. Spooky fruit roll-ups and ah, fruit scary peel-outs with creepy goosebumps story teasers. So deliciously unusual. No way, story Everyone teasers. Everyone to get their hands on them, but they're only around. For Everyone a wants time. the fruit roll-up. So what's really scary is running out. First of all, what kid just like slams down some fruit roll-ups? 
Yeah, this is from that that night of all the different specials. They did not help he us is last. Having a time over here. Yeah. They they added three. There's three characters to this special, but only one of them talks, and it's Slappy. And that's actually R.L. Stone's voice too. Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> now that's scary to me. My God, they killed him. The Which did. is a reasonable reaction. Yes, it the is. Is dying out. What? <laughs> oh! Literally. Devil may cry. <laughs> <laughs> Back when gaming was real. Is this a Buffy game? Sure is. Oh my God. Imagine getting fucking. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Imagine trying to live your life and then you get fucking comboed off by blood Buffy characters by by a guy named Xander. Getting getting double comboed. Holy shit! There goes the name. I didn't. Sorry, Buffy the video game. I didn't know your style. I was unaware. Yes, it's an arena fighter as well. Get your sleigh on. Games used Buffy to be the real then. Chaos bleeds. Being Chaos bleeds. <laughs> it looks like I got a what new a game for. Name. Got a new Not game old. for Thirteen Nights of Halloween. Next time you're having a party like this one, leave me off the invite list, yeah. You got it, guy. Completely dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Merge the Masu. I will not put you on the guest list. Again. <laughs> Order any pizza or pizza. I would hate you for it to invite her to the party. Each. What is that happening to his uncle Stinky in the back there? He does not look right. And I'll give you that Stinky does not look like a, a, a good designed ghost, but still. That's how they did that. This Halloween, M&M's will send a million dollars to one lucky person. And that guy's just fucking dead. I don't think he likes me. Enter for a chance to win. J.K. Simmons. I think there there is definitely a cult. Yeah, it had good aura. Oh, I'll say that. that. Elvira, mistress of the dark. I mean, here I am stocking up for Halloween. I got my steak, got my ribs. Then when I ask the stock boy where the Coors Light is at, he points me to the Coors and Coors Light. Okay, that's actually funny. And I'm Because he's a stock boy, because he's in stocks. Yeah, it is. Pretty funny. Again, if you are a fan of puns, then Elvira is your girl. There goes another one. Happy Halloween, darling. Wow, Millhouse, that frozen black cherry's turned your tongue black. <laughs> My tongue's black too. Ooh, ooh, let me try. Hey, let's have give black me tongue. Me. <laughs> Homer would die from that. He would. He would in fact. kids meal, you can get a Simpsons spooky light up. Yeah, I don't think my kid, my brother was a big kid around this time. Couldn't get it. Shame. Ah, uh, rip. I know. Now it's time for the Pizza Head show. Hey everybody, I'm done trick or treating, and now I'm gonna go for a stuffed crust pizza. He went as a Canadian. Yay! Not yet, Pizza Head. There's one more place to go. Well, I don't think anyone's home. Sure there is. Oh, trick or treat! Even though I know where this is going, which is that Pizza Head dies in various ways, there's still something about this that gets me going. <laughs> oh my god, they destroyed the Pizza Hut. <laughs> they did. It looks like that is it for everything, because this is where they show the next pre episode. Not ep not episode, but the next video. Check out these videos too. So that is it for 
as far as this is concerned, is watching commercials for this year. We'll be back next year to see more stuff, but that's not it for us in Halloween because we still have a stream plan to watch some, probably, again, two uh, public domain movies, and then I'll add in that uh, Scooby-Doo thing as well. The Scooby-Doo Blair Witch um, uh, movie. I'm sure I won't get in trouble with Twitch. Nah. Nah, what are they going to do? Take me down. If, if that's the thing that takes me down on Twitch, sure. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> that's accept it. That's what finally gets you. Uh, but that was a fun time. We'll be back next year to do this again. Zen, as always, it's good to have you on to watch some old Halloween commercials. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it. The, the nostalgia trip is crazy. It is. Uh, boy, thank you for joining us in the back over there. Say, say, say goodbye to people. Goodbye. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Why don't you say goodbye and happy Halloween now, Zen? Goodbye, everybody. Happy Halloween. It's we'll... in 13 days. Yeah, pretty close. Well, this isn't releasing on the 19th, it's, but it's going to be pretty oh. close. It's probably be around well, the 20th. Now so... you know when we recorded this versus when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny because you think, oh, yeah, 13 nights this has to be the first one. But no, I, I've recorded a, a couple bit of them here. But either way, keep enjoying the Halloween times, and we'll see you guys in a later video. Peace out. Happy Halloween.